We're on the edge of the Death Valley National Park, and uh, we're at the ghost town Rhyolite. And it's named Rhyolite because that was the most common uh, rock or mineral that they had found here. So it was a it was a gold mine town. Boomed up in uh, the early 1900s, I think around 19. 04 or 06, and collapsed by 1911. Looking out through here, this would have been all filled with houses and buildings. They had approximately six to 8,000 residents in that short amount of time. They had 50 saloons. Can you imagine, 50 saloons. Now, out in the distance, we can see uh, evidence of mining operations. Over here is a lot of the tailings uh, where they pile up the material there they don't want. So, the, uh, in fact, the, the backside of this mountain right here is almost all carved away. So they're still doing heavy-duty mining here. Uh, I don't know necessarily what they're getting, but something of value, obviously. So we're going to go up further and uh, check out more of this stuff here. Well, before we get all the way up there, they've got this area fenced off. Nice big hole down there. And I don't think it's a mine shaft, actually. I think it was probably the bottom of an outhouse. That's what I think. Okay, here we go. We're looking uh, southwest here. And what do we have there, Claudia? The Rhyolite School Ruins, erected in 1909. It's the second school they built. I'm guessing it's more that there than that there, but maybe no, not. It's that. I, it's, think it's I see. And then what do we have here? Overbury Building Ruins, erected in 1907. Cost $45,000 to build. Whoa. The bank and business building, the bank had electric lights and indoor parking for luxury. And, the, and look at the uh, masonry work. It doesn't look that old. It does. What do we have across the street? That is the Porter Brothers store ruins, erected in 1906. The Porter Brothers had three stores in California. Uh, one in Ballarat, California, one across Death Valley, and the Rhyolite Emporium, which would be this one. And those metal plates, if you look down inside those metal plates, it's a nether room underneath there with an opening to the rest of the store. So maybe storage or maybe they were unloading in that area and then hauling it underneath the main floor. Hard to say. So do we have a, a do we have an idea what this other building is over here? That two-story building there? Is Las Vegas and Tonopah Depot. Erected uh, in June of 1909, one of three railroads that served Rhyolite. Wow. The other two were the Tonopah Tidewater Railroad and the Bullfrog, Goldfield Railroad. And you can see the regular red brick at the top of the building. Okay, so we're going to travel up this road. Okay, so we found a little placard there. And looking at the ruins of the distance, this is what it should have looked like in its heyday. And then we have another placard here. You know, unfortunately, it looks like people have vandalized these things. Well, they certainly have, actually. So the John S. Cook & Company Bank is over there. And that's what that would have looked like. That's the Cook Bank. Yep, so she made a little error there. We straightened it out. And... Uh, Looks like they've got a couple more placards up there. I'm going to go take a look at those. 
So uh, the placards were destroyed, vandals. But if you look up there, you can see a mine shaft there, and uh, you see the tailings they brought out, and then next to it is another one. Some more uh, metal debris up on the hillside leftovers. So we're going to go up to that building there and uh, check that out. So we're looking at the uh, depot there. Looks like we have some photography going on. People dressed up in old garb. See the remains of an old train car. <laughs> 